Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for March. This is like a preview because this is being recorded in February. So, you know, March hasn't happened yet, so keep that in mind. You may want to watch this in March. Um, and then again, you know, this reading may or may not be for you. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading definitely is not for you. Um, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Basically a preview, right? I mean, that's what it is. This is for Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? We're going to get an overall energy, one of these, one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. What does Virgo need to know? <laughs> well, we got two cards, and of course you're one of them, right? We're going to have to take them both, aren't we? <laughs> Let's just get another. You guys are special. We'll just get another uh, little stand here. Doesn't match, but and I know you don't like that, but that's okay. I don't like it either. I'll get out one that matches because it only seems right. we gotta, we got to make it right, right? That's if I can find one. Nope. I've hidden them. I've hidden them somewhere. You know, because everything has to be in a space, so all the rest of them are someplace else. Anyway, it's not going to match. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I'm Virgo rising, so I'd like to get it right as well. But anyway, we got two cards. There's lack of wish fulfillment where you're at. You're not happy. <laughs> Maybe you've given up hope. And maybe you need to go within and come up with uh, plan number two, plan number B, you know, plan B, whatever it is. This is a time of introspection. It's a time of reflection, reflecting on your life, reflecting on your wish fulfillment. Wherever you're at, it's like you're probably not getting what you want. You're not being fulfilled in some way with that star card reversed. And the only way you're going to get wish fulfillment is to refocus, replan, go within, and, and make a conscious change. Now, this is um, Jesus consciousness. Become consciously aware of what you really want and go for it. It's like, you know, I feel like a lot of you know what you want because you're very wise. You are very wise. You know what you want. Maybe you need to come up with a plan as how you're going to get it. Whatever the case is, there's definitely a lack of wish fulfillment here because somebody needs to figure out how they're going to get it. You know, to fight, yeah, we all have dreams, but you gotta, you got to take steps to follow your dreams, right? I mean, seriously. So... There's lack of faith, you know, you gotta have faith. You may be feeling discouraged. You know, don't get discouraged, figure out how you're gonna change it. You have the power, you have the power to change your life. The magician uses their power, their inner resources, their outer resources, anything. They find the means to bring success. So you do have the power. You have the skills. You have the power to manifest wish fulfillment. You have the power to go get manifest and go get wish fulfillment. You have the power to manifest it. This is an eight. The time is now. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. What you seek is seeking you. But you're going to have to take some sort of step. You know, you have to take action. The magician has to use the resources that he has to bring success. And the magician has to shed the old. He has to take action. So this is about taking action to bring success to your life. You have an opportunity for love. You do. For somebody, you know, that is gonna that could make you feel really, really, really good. 
at ease. We have a caring connection here. That could be. It could be. But it looks like you're not getting it because you have to take some sort of action. Whatever that is. Let's get some of these. And maybe it's hidden. Remember, I couldn't find the other one. I couldn't find the other stand that goes like that. It's hidden somewhere. It's hidden. I gotta look a little bit harder, right? I could have found it if I tried a little bit harder. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. But this one seems to fit just fine. I mean, it looks good, right? Looks good. Looks good. Maybe you're in a situation that looks good, but it really doesn't fit. Is that what the case is? Who knows? There's discontent, there's boredom, I want more, I want more, I know that I want more, but nobody's taking any action because they don't want to deal with the conflict. I know that I want more. And it's like God is offering you this opportunity for this, you know, and you're just like, you're looking at it, you see it, but you're not taking it. Therefore, you're not getting the wish fulfillment that you deserve. You know, you have to experience pain. We've talked about this empress over and over and over again. you got to experience pain to get the miracle. Y'all know about that, right? So it looks like we have the God or the universe or whatever that is trying to give you a blessing, right? They're trying to give you a blessing and you're just not taking it. I don't know why you're not taking it. Whoever is interested in you, whoever is watching you, because somebody is watching you. Whoever is watching you, they see your beauty. They see your worth. They think that you are <laughs> beautiful. They think that you are kind. They think that you are nurturing. <laughs> they think that you are what they want, put it that way. You're it. Your love. They see your abundance. They see. They definitely see your worth. Whoever this other person is. They just keep a flipping, don't they? You know, we have an end here. There's an opportunity to end a difficult situation. There is. This is a completion. You have the opportunity to end a, a, a difficult situation. But you're going to have to take that blindfold off. And you're going to have to speak the truth, well, even if it hurts. you got to make a painful, stressful decision between two options. And that is exactly what this is. And I think that you have been delaying it because you don't want to deal with the pain. Whatever this decision is. You got a painful, stressful decision. You're sitting on the fence. You're at this crossroad. You got to make this painful, stressful choice. There's going to be opposition. There's a lot of fears and anxiety in the way, and you got to face it. You got to face it. It's like you know the truth, but you don't want to you don't want to speak the truth. You don't want to accept the truth because, well, it's painful. We have a painful end here. And it's like you got your, your it's like you're, you're, you're keeping that blindfold off. I don't, even though you know, you know. I think you're being caught in the middle right now. You're in the middle. You don't know what to do. I think your heart want one, wants one thing, but the logical mind says, no, I can't. Now, the overall energy of this whole reading. This is the is right here. Something is coming to an end. You can only avoid it for so long. Maybe you're going to make that decision. Maybe you're finally going to make that decision. But this is reluctant. Reluctant to move on. Refusing to take that new approach. Refusing this transition. Staying in a situation that is troublesome. It's troublesome. It's troubling you. It's causing you disharmony. It's causing you um, imbalance. It's causing you, you know, emotional turmoil. Your ter mental turmoil. Stress. 
whatever it is that you're, wherever you're at right now. Maybe you've already decided that you're the empress. Some of you, some of you are the empress and it's like, I'm worth more than this. Maybe you, you, I don't know. Let's get some more cards. Six. Oh, God. Not getting what you deserve. The six of pentacles reverse. So you guys are, it's like you guys are in a one-sided situation where there's definitely no balance. Things are imbalanced. It's like it's not practical. You're not getting what you deserve. There's a lack of equal give and take. You know, and it is over. It is over, but you're not taking any action. Because you don't want to deal with the conflict. Same old story, right? Back and forth, back and forth. It's like this is a constant game of tug of war, right? It is. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. The universe is, sees what's going on. This is this is this is it. Okay, this is this is it. Shit is about to hit the fan. Something is going to crumble. We have some sort of uh, upheaval on the horizon. Somebody could be getting thrown out. Things are about to. I mean, fire fireworks. See the fireworks. Are you ready? Are you ready for the fireworks? Because it looks like there's going to be some fireworks in March. <laughs> Which may cause an ending. It may cause the end, okay? There could be some sort of rude awakening, some sort of truth, something happens, okay? This is fated. This is the universe saying, okay, I've seen enough. Time to clear this out. Time to change your environment. Time for this to end. You're refusing to make the decision. You're in denial. I'm going to make it for you. You're reluctant to transition. You're reluctant to see your worth. <laughs> Maybe you've been competing. You've been competing for somebody that's not taking action. I don't know. There's definitely competition here. Somebody isn't putting in effort. There, it's like there's no togetherness. There's no teamwork here. There's a lack of um, ability to keep this. Really, it's, it's slipping away anyway. It is slipping away. Something is slipping away. And you deserve wish fulfillment. You deserve to get what you dream of. That's why this is here. That's why this tower is here. Because they see your dreams. They hear your wishes. You can't deny that shit. Even though you might try. You can't deny it. The, you, everything you dream of. Everything you think of. They hear. <laughs> they do. I think somebody is holding on. Somebody is holding on to a discontent situation where there's, there's just not any passion. There's no passion here. There's no passion in these cards. There's no passion. There's no passion. You know? There's no reciprocation. You, you're, somebody is holding on to a situation where they don't even want to reciprocate. Where there, There's just no love in these cards either. Outside of this situation, there is love. And it's what you dream of. Real love. The kind of love that you deserve. But you're going to have to deal with conflict. You're going to have to deal with pain. And you're going to have to really look at what God is offering you. The overall outcome could be a Scorpio. Perhaps this is the overall energy. This is the overall outcome. You may end up 
you know, something may be clearing out of your life, it may be coming to an end, and you're going to unite with a Scorpio, or you're going to unite with a Taurus or a Libra. Or an Aquarius. Anyhow, there's a, the universe wants you to have wish fulfillment, and that is exactly what this is about. But the only way you're going to get wish fulfillment is something needs to end. And it may be just a thought. If you are thinking about, if you're holding on to, you are holding on to something. Somebody is holding on to something that is not practical. That's, that's no doubt. It's painful. They don't want to deal with the pain. God has been offering this big old opportunity of love and it's like I see it but I'm not taking it. They're giving you the power. It's like you have the power. You have the power. So the universe is here to clean something out. Okay, it's going to clean something out. It's going to clear something out of the way for you. That's what that tower moment is. It's like a fated change. It's like... The universe comes in and, and lights off the bomb, lights off the fireworks and causes a big old display and um, <laughs> causes a conflict, a fight perhaps. There may be a fight or a conflict that really turns your world upside down. It turns things upside down, but... It's a blessing in disguise because this ending needs to happen so that you can find wish fulfillment. So on the horizon is wish fulfillment with a caring connection. Somebody that is, is like so loving, so kind, right up your alley. Somebody that mirrors you. But I think that a lot of you are hanging on to somebody else You're, or he's hanging on to some thought. It could be you are literally hanging on to this situation whatever it is you're hanging on to something that is it's over the universe sees that it's over but you need to find the strength to remove yourself from this situation whatever it is you're holding on to even if you're holding on to it mentally you need to you need to really reflect and reevaluate whatever this is you're holding on to because it's not serving you it's not They're trying to bring you a reward. They're trying to bring you a blessing. You, This is a blessing. This is a blessing. It's like you have this blessing. They're trying to give you a blessing and it's like you're not taking it. You're not taking it. What else do we have for Virgo in March? Oh, change of course. Definitely. Destiny. This is a destined change, of course. One chapter in your life is ending, and it has been a difficult chapter. It has. Maybe, maybe this universe, this tower moment, this, this, these fireworks that go off are going to bring you something better. That's exactly what this is. Something is going to be, there's going to be some sort of change of events, okay? There's going to be a fated event. Something's going to happen. It's going to cause an uproar. Or the, you know, it is. It is. And it's going to change your course for the better. It's going to bring you what you are destined to be with. It is. It's going to lead you right towards your destiny. You may not be comfortable with it. You may not be. But it literally is wish fulfillment. It is going to fulfill your dreams and your wishes like you never even thought possible. Whatever this is, it's going to happen fast. It's going to be like a fast, swift change. It's not going to be something that happens like over a period of days. I feel like there's going to be a swift, a sudden change, okay? There is. There's going to be a swift, sudden change that is going to bring you towards wish fulfillment in a way that you didn't think okay it's, i don't think this is something that you expected i think it's unexpected expect the unexpected okay 
expect the unexpected because whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose i got the goosebumps now through both arms it's bringing you it's bringing you closer to your destiny whatever this is there's a completion here the big one a big one something is being removed from your life and it is bringing you together at their goosebumps they're just they're just magnifying or they're they're multiplying in my body anyway whatever is happening this the, we, we have an ending here that is going to happen it's going to happen swiftly and it is going to put you in alignment with your subconscious wishes okay So be prepared, be prepared, Virgo. Be prepared to connect with, it looks to me, I think this is a soulmate. I do. I really do. So we're going to get one more card for you because I feel like I, I want to. And we are going to use this deck. Um, you have a destined change, of course, courtesy of the universe. Because you are worthy. You are worth it. This is something you have manifested with your thoughts. You've been dreaming of this. This is what you want. And here it is. Here it is. Let's get one of these for Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? One card for Virgo. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. One card for Virgo. tell you you are destined destined for wish fulfillment you are you are I mean it, it, thank you Lord grounding go deep explore your roots grounding time or take time to ground yourself in what is truly essential Remember what's important in life and let go of everything else. Let go of the busyness and the frenetic pace of life. Be present in the moment. Release the flurry of worry about the future or the rehashing of the past. This is a time to engage and reflect. Ha! Huh, no shit. We talked about that at the beginning, didn't we? It might be worth taking a second look at something you previously passed over. Things may not always be as they seem. Look deeper into the situations and relationships in your life. Explore your roots. Something that seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find hidden gems of truth, light, or abundance. Be prepared for the universe to put something in motion that is going to lead you towards wish fulfillment. It is going to happen unexpectedly when you least expect it. It may be uncomfortable. It may be very um, troublesome. But it's what you've been subconsciously wishing for it may and all is not as it seems so you may be been you may have been trying to manifest success you know on something that is unrealistic the universe knows what is realistic so they're going to bring you what you signed up for Whatever they're heading you towards, it's this caring connection. You are headed towards this. Whatever you're wishing for, that's what you're headed for. Good luck. 